welcome to Headphones Hi-Fi Reviews unboxing of the AM05 from Ibasso. These are a set of universal in-ear monitors. They have five drivers. They are balanced armatures and they are Knowles drivers. Ibasso come from China and they are the makers of digital audio players and amplifiers for portable audio purposes originally um, including the legendary DX100 a digital audio player that was the first high-end digital audio player to hit the market uh, way back in the day and I still have uh, one of those digital audio players however I have not yet listened to any of their in-ear monitors I've not watched or read any of the reviews on the iBasso. I will unbox it in front of you. We don't go too much into the specifications on headphones hi-fi reviews as you know but for in-ear monitors there are a few considerations. All smartphones and most digital audio players have an extremely low impedance. The impedance on a earphone is normally from 16 ohms resistance upwards these are 32 ohms the second measurement as to how loud they're likely to be out of something with low amplification is the sensitivity anything above 105 db is a good rating these are 115 so they should be perfectly loud out of a smartphone. These are a multiple driver model. The difference between a multiple driver model and a single driver model is a multiple driver model will need crossovers and a single driver model won't need any crossovers. And the cable that's supplied with this is a detachable cable model is in balanced mode and it has an adapter for unbalanced so you can use it through your normal smartphone or if you have a digital audio player that has balanced or a DAC amp that has balanced you've got your balanced connector there. I've gone as far into the specifications as I think I need to. The most important part of any experience with an audio product is to just simply listen to it. The unveiling of the iBasso AM05 five balanced armature in-ear monitor which is the first in-ear monitor I will have listened to made by Ibasso so we have the cardboard outer with the barcode a list of specifications on the back the drivers are made by Knowles and some people swear by Knowles drivers and some people don't like them. So that's the cardboard outer and the blue grey inner cardboard box. And there's the clasp, a little indent for the iBasso logo there. And I don't know if you can see this properly. We have the opal or green coloured Ibasso drivers, some quite tasteful shells there. And we have a fairly cheap standard Ibasso audio box, Venture Electronics um, use these as well as many other Chinese manufacturers and quite a nice looking balanced cable there detachable put those down there and some sets of tips
it's all very compactly made isn't it oh, some foamies with some varying sizes I think we've got quite a few different types of tips here haven't we what else have we got any silicons presumably I mean if you're like me you've got thousands of tips but tips can be very important they can alter the sound quite dramatically so some silicons with no inner I tend to use silicons um, more than foamies it depends on how thin sounding the earphone sounds out of the box some really soft uh, silicons there and we have the unbalanced adapter there yeah. quite easy to tell the difference between balanced and unbalanced isn't it as you can see there's two and a half mil much thinner jack and the three and a half mil which is much th thicker and a little bit longer isn't it set of booklets up here would that be warranty cards yes warranty card a little booklet about the AM05 box contents safety instructions selecting the right ear tips for your in monitors what we're going to do is we're going to do a comparison between the five driver Ibasso and a semi custom set of Westone W60s, which are six drivers, they're balanced armature. And um, I've customized the, the uh, shells to fit my ears perfectly. And um, I've customized um, a detachable cable for them. I'm also going to try them against the legendary Sennheiser IE800 I've chosen some silicon tips there no foamies I prefer silicons if I can have silicons the foam ones unless they're quite thin sounding and shrill sounding ear monitors tend to bloat the sound in the bass department a bit too much and tone down the high frequency too much but I can certainly show you these in their glory a bit better now putting the rights in now slide the cable over the ears twist the driver back Twist the driver in and down and that should be a good insertion and then just fiddle around with it for a second and that should be in locked in quite nicely which it is plug the earphones into the balanced input on the M11 Pro and switch them on and get back to you shortly I'm back from my listening session and let me tell you that for once there is very little I can complain about with the AM05 I put them through the paces I've listened to track after track and I can tell you some of the characteristics now The AMO5s have great bass. The bass is very slightly on the lean side, but 
what that does is it enables you to be able to pick out what type of bass you're listening to and the bass is not tiring it's fast and it's accurate when one compares the bass on the AM05 to the bass on the Westone W60s seen here the bass on the Westone W60s is undoubtedly more visceral and by visceral I mean that there is air moving against the side of the ears so you get a feeling of airflow or a push of bass when um, bass kicks in the AM05 has a slight touch of viscerality whereas the W60s have much more viscerality but when one listens beyond that uh, one realizes uh, that the W60s are bass heavy that there is an overemphasis on bass and the bass eventually becomes quite tiring the Sennheiser i800s have now been moved onto the screen you'll see that I've customized these so as they don't fall out of my ears and you'll probably be able to see the two nozzles on the i800s now they are there to enhance the bass and to push them out against the side of your ears the effect is not as large as the W60s but nevertheless the effect is there and there is more viscerality than the AMO5s the bass instrumentation is not as easy to uh, work out on the IE800s but the IE800s have a less fatiguing type of bass a less thudding type of bass than the W60s they are certainly what I would consider to be less linear and more warmer than the AMO5s we then come on to the mids of the AMO5 um, and by mids we're talking about the, where the majority of the sound is coming from so the majority of the voice and the majority of the instrumentation all lies in the mids if we have a vocal heavy track can we follow the vocal uh, with relative ease on the AMO5s for an orchestral track can we follow the main instruments and can we also hear what's going on behind the main instruments without too much effort it does the sound in any way great so for mids I think again the AMO5 is a winner and in fact the clarity was something that I kept on writing down when I was listening to tracks is the bass was clear and also there was a separation around the instruments and the sound just felt natural and right with the IE 800s um, they do have um, quite a considerable clarity to them but the sound was slightly artificial and a slightly airier sound and in fact I put down that the mids were slightly thinner whereas the bass was slightly thicker for the W60s there is a clarity there but they are a touch duller sounding the mids don't have the presence and clarity of the AMO5s treble response now this is where harshness can often kick in the clarity is there 
and cymbals, percussion sounds and um, echoes, for want of a better word, are quite easy to follow in the AM05s. I would say that if I'm going to be ultra critical, they are just a touch too much on certain recordings. But it's not enough to cause me to need to turn the volume down or anything like that. It's just there. And I think that's to do with the fact of how natural and how clear they sound. The other in-ear monitors I remember as having this type of clarity were the final audio A8000s. They're a £2,000 single driver beryllium in-ear monitor. But the A8000s had too much of that stunning clarity and uh, eventually it caused one to want to turn the volume down. Uh, they became fatiguing to listen to. Uh, I never had that feeling with these. I would have these over the final A8000 every day of the week, even if the price was the same. I think that these are the better in-ear monitors. I hope that this will, if you've not seen the final way of thousands, you can have a little look at my YouTube video and give yourself an idea as to what I mean. The sound on the A8000s was better in the bass. I've not heard an in monitor that beat the A8000 for bass response. Everything else sounds better, in my opinion, from memory on the AMO5. Also the shells look a lot nicer to me. They're sculpted much better. It's a better fit into the ear. They're crafted better. The memory wire is just so much better. The cable looks so great on these and they lock into your ears perfectly I never ever had to touch them there was never feeling of them being anything other than the perfect temperature in my ears they weren't affected by cold or heat and they stayed in place without me having to touch them I had the added extra of the balanced connection which I used the whole time on these which gave me an extra bit of power that I didn't need on the Theo M11 Pro which I'll just put into shot here. Everything was done listening to the Theo M11 Pro. The Ibasso AMO5 reaches the heady score of 9 out of 10 on the headphones hi-fi review rating scale. Why doesn't it reach 10? Obviously I've been raving about this for some time in my comparison between the IE800 and the Western W60, both of which retail at far higher prices. Let me tell you, I haven't heard an in monitor at this price that comes anywhere near the AM05. So in terms of the sound quality, I would wholeheartedly recommend it. The one word of warning about the sound quality on this is in some tracks on the higher frequencies, some people might find it a bit too much and it might take a bit of getting used to as well. The brain might take a bit of adjusting if you've come from the type of sound that you would get from the more expensive W60s here. The packaging on the AMO5 seen here is a bit cheap and cheerful to say the least. There is our carrying case and I think you'll notice more than a similarity here with the Venture Electronics carry case. 
they are freely available on Aliexpress for about one dollar. I would have just been looking for Ibasso to have just pushed their presentation boxes and packaging just that little bit further. Uh, the stunning looks of the shells on these and the great fit that I got and the beautiful cable and the fact that it starts as balanced the AMO5 is a must try in my opinion thank you very much for spending the time with me and I'm sure it won't be too much longer before we meet again and until then this is headphones hi-fi reviews saying goodbye and good luck